What are you doing? Well, no, it's not done. I gotta take it back. back. Well, I just bought it for the weekend, so I wouldn't have to drive the truck. Oh. Because the truck's broken. Yeah. I didn't talk to Mike. Okay, check this out, Ray. I don't want to look at that yet. Um, this is the new show. Therefore, this is going to be slightly different. Okay. I don't want hours and hours of yapping. You got five minutes or less to tell me what you're doing. I can't show you. I didn't wire it up yet. Okay. Well, we, we, I didn't ask you to show me. I just, you got five minutes to bring us up to speed on what you're doing, and you've already lost 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Uh, I'm completing the uh, back box wall. Park. Did you miss all these people out there in video land? Yes, I did. Uh huh. <laughs> it's warm now. It's 75. Yeah, yeah right. It's, well, it's 30. You got four minutes left. What the hell is that? That's my uh, back box uh, wall art. Part one. Uh huh. Here's part two. Yeah. Uh, okay. What was it? Um, that one's gonna be Xenon. This one's Space Invaders. Okay. You can tell by the pattern. You're leaving out the very beginning of what it was. What was it? Uh -huh. It was originally a ballet demo um, exhibition piece that they probably took to shows. Um, Mark, one of my customers, bought it at a uh, show, probably Chicago Land or something. And it was something they displayed probably before the pinball came out. Um, okay, one was a Xenon, one was a Space Invaders. Yeah, and I have a feeling that they showcased their artwork because it was uh, pretty different back then to see uh, chase lights in a pinball machine. Yeah, and the way they did it was really, really odd. Yeah. And kind of made you well, scratch your head. The way they did it to display wasn't like the pinball because they didn't have the They had time. no brain. They had uh, no brain. Right. They didn't have the time to create what I'm doing. Right. Uh, the pinball machine does this through a circuit board. Right, and chases. I, yeah, and I think the circuit board's controlled by the CPU, so you need the whole pinball machine to make this work. Okay. Now, the GI is a simple thing because sure. it's just illumination. Make the voltage. The chase lights, are, that's a totally different thing. Okay. First off, to give the chase effect, you need three channels. Right. Two just appears to blink Blinks back, on and off. back and forth. That's, that is not a chase light. You, you can have more than three, but you don't need more than three. Three makes a chase yeah, three, uh, illusion. Three is the minimum for a chase illusion, yeah. Or running lights, as some people call them. Right, okay. So how'd you do it? You've well, got three minutes left. I was on the internet, and I found this. This was something I built. It's a kit. Okay. It comes empty. You have to put all the components. Oh, my. Yeah. Okay, and not entry uh, level. No, it's a kit from uh, this company. Uh, one two three electronics, but this this place uh, D DIY. It's in Japan. They make these kits. Good boy. And then uh, this is programmable, and you can even use Windows software to control it through a serial port. And it drives incandescence LEDs or strip LEDs, either anything, uh, depending on how you wire it. Um, How'd you get your arm twisted into this project? I have no this idea. This ain't your thing. No it ain't. Design chase lights back box. That is the overall of the the, <laughs> the the device. You have to go on the internet and print out what it actually does. That's just an abbreviation. Oh God! Put that on the bill. <laughs> read read and understand that. That's on the bill. Uh, uh, it is actually on the bill. <laughs> yeah. But this is what they were doing. <laughs> oh my! Yeah. You remember this? I took this, it apart. This was terrible. I'm not understanding why they didn't. Uh, I think you might have took this job because I said I could. It's I, we could handle it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were using 455s to blink on the bulbs the whole on circuit. and off. Yeah, and um, it didn't like the 120 coming into it. But see, since they split these up into serial, it it took the 120 VAAC and dropped it down to about seven. Well, all the all the bulbs acted as resistors in the circuit. Right. You know, it's 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 amazing to me though how. 32 bulbs could drop 125 volts VAC down, down to, to six. six. <laughs> well, I probably didn't. <laughs> um, I measured it. It did. It oh, really? Get out of here. 0.83 volts. Nice. Uh, 
Some pencil head had that one figured out. I would have never guessed it. <laughs> it, 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 it the, the effect was poor, though. It, well, yeah, it, it just, just, yeah, just it, blinked on and off. It was so poor. And then these things really didn't care much to do that. They no, they like, burned out. They yeah. didn't like to do that. So these, no. This was done very poorly. Very poorly. What do you got? And uh, what the hell are you doing? Heat gun. There's no heat gun for this project. This is what without the glass in it. Right. And I got to test fit the inner glass to make sure it fits right. And they actually cut the box thing a little. Oh, uh, anyway, this is what it looks like done. And these boxes are going to be connected together. So this is a modified factory uh, display, sh show display. Right. Show display. Uh, modified to go in our customer's wall. And the shroud will hang outside of the wall. And it will be displaying a xenon and and a haunted house. No, a um, space. Space. The reason these were showcased. I took Dave out for his birthday, and I had um, uh, two rum and cokes and a shot of something, a kamikaze. Know. Oh, God. So, yeah, it was disgusting. So if I don't make any sense right now, that's why. Well, all right. Now these were showcased in the day because this was a pretty big deal to, to do this type of an elaborate job. Oh on sure, the yeah. Um, I don't know. Were were there these uh, you know chase lights and stuff pr had, prior to that? No, they all came out about the same. I don't know who was first because uh, Godly Black Hole had chase lights. Yeah, and like God Volcano, God of War and stuff like that. God of, yeah, Mars got a war. Now Bally only did two that I am aware of. Did they do any other ones? I know Xenon and Space Invaders. Those are the only two that come to mind. There might be another one, but I don't uh, know. Anyway, uh, this requires two plugs, one for the 12-volt adapter and one for the GI lights, which is a transformer-driven piece. Okay, and this is all electronics as designed by you? Yeah, this is a center tap transformer, um, it, which means it has two legs. Um, one is 6.3 and the other is 6.3. I'm splitting it. You can combine them and get 12 volts out of it. It's a hobby transformer. Okay. It's big enough to do what I'm doing with LEDs. It probably would even power incandescence. Sure. Um, but there's 26 GIs in this back box. And I didn't leave out any. I duplicated the original. I didn't leave out any. Okay. I didn't just put a few that would light up. I did all of them. The other one, the Xenon has 35, that's a little more, but... Okay. Um, anyway, this drives both. This um, will be the other, and this is detachable. This is the GI's feed to the other box. And that all be wired in, but behind his wall into a switch yeah, of some sort. Yeah. yeah. And then if you look inside this, this will be mounted to the wall and this frame will stick out. He's going to do the paintwork on the face and the uh, surround. The outside of the frame, okay. He wanted the inside in this black, so... Makes sense. This is... Um, you know that went... What are you doing down there? You know what? These, these retro thinking bulbs, bulbs... These retro... Would you ever use them? These retro bulbs... Hey, listen, Coin Taker may be one of our sponsors, so don't you say shit no, about that the, bulb. No, but the retro bulbs are not as sturdy on the ends where the stakes are as the regular ones. You're almost out of time. Anyway. People don't want to watch XX garbage like your bulb flying out of there. We'll put that in the blooper reel. Yeah. It won't be disturbed once it's in place. But okay, so you've got that this connector. Will pivot, and then this is your connector that comes off. This is fastened to the frame, the uh, chase light frame. Right. The inner glass will go in here, and it's going to have more holders than what it has. Okay. I'm going to use plastic. I use magnetic latches to do the, uh, the uh, back yeah. box thing. Uh -huh. Okay, and then everything is stapled and okay. done, just like and factory. On all that wiring is from scratch. Right, this is all done, and I use my air stapler. Um, this is the chase light board. Yes. It's programmable. Um, I fused both circuits, GI and uh, main. Nice. Okay. Um, and then this is your transformer, and then everything has connectors that come off, you know. Okay. We're going to get an order for about 80 of these. That's simply how that works. Okay, so it all latches shut. Yep. And this is a very odd pinball part. Get your wiring back in here. I have it propped up here. Candace is going to fucking kill me. This is going to be too long. Anyway, that's what it looks like. 
And then this is what it looks like lit. That's what it looks like lit. Okay, so There's the a couple different warms here. So the backlights, uh, yeah. backlights will be lit up, and uh, the chase lights are chasing. Yeah. Can this you, is game over. Can you? Yeah. These line up with the reds and the eyes, and everything's warm except the valley is blue. Okay. I uh, colorize it. Uh, neat. The uh, the chase light speed. What is that controlled by? There is. Um, you could control it if you program it with a computer. Okay. But that is one setting. That was a some sort of default. Yes. Okay. Uh, speed is controlled by design. Um, that's a re uh, that's a reasonable speed. It's okay. Yeah. Um, it's a lot more noticeable and better when there's a glass. So. Well, yeah, because you're not staring directly into the light. Right. And we'll see what that looks like when when we're done. But uh, we built this well, we built this cabinet basically from scratch, um, duplicating the factory unit that hung on the wall. However, this is not as deep, is it? You it's can see these work better without the uh, distracted. Yeah. Right. 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 So it's it's not it's not exactly the same shape as the original factory unit, but uh, a, a modern upgrade thereof. Mm -hmm. Now that has a push button on that board, and you have seven different light modes. You can have fade. You can have strobe. You, yeah, which none of which is necessary. Right. You, you just want it to sit on the wall and do that. Right. And it has a memory so that every time you turn this off, the last setting you used is stored. Okay. So this does not have to be intervened. You just flip the light switch. I don't know, Ray. That might still be boring. Yeah. Um, it's a neat um, fabrication job. Yeah. But we had a request, like you said, from one of our customers. Yeah, we were forced to do this job. We entertained it. We're forced to do most uh, jobs, actually. It's um, it's a lot of time. Yeah, very hard job. Yeah. yeah especially since it's not really in our wheelhouse. Um, you know, you fix things. You're not a uh, well, back box. You're not a you're not a woodworker back box designer. That's no, that's not your everything gig. Everything had to be done here from scratch. Yeah. I mean, uh, we copied the original, but think about the hours involved. The chase lights involves three, four hours. Yeah, what were you showing me over there with your using re resistors to do what? Oh, you have to drop down 12 volts. That circuit board, that chase lamp board puts out 12 volts. And these are too bright with 12 volts. Okay. They probably would live because they're strobing. Maybe. F yeah, maybe for how long, who knows. But, yeah, it's uh, a six volt bulb. It's correct. But the tolerance is probably between six and nine. Yeah, they'll stand it a little bit, but but it's they're too bright. Yeah. I mean, I tried it; they're way too bright. Uh, no, these, and I'm not using the miniature ones. They're quarter watt. They were for testing. Uh, these are uh, three watt, uh, 680 ohm, three watt resistors. They drop the voltage from 12 down to 6.4 or 8, 6.8. So use one on each leg. Okay, um, so they so they drop the drop the uh, the the um, voltage. They drop the voltage down to the bulbs so that the bulbs will survive, but they're not doing massive work to the point where they're overloading any type of circuit or doing no, anything no. goofy. No. no, you're not going to get these to be hot because there's no current going through them. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, you got one more to build here, and then I think we're going to build something similar without the chase lights for yeah. our centaur glass. All right. That would uh, be a lot easier. Yeah. It, it'll still have the frame and it'll still have the white panel hinge and then we can put our GI lights and we can put color changers and uh, yeah, we'll make it look nice when we get around to it. Yeah. The eyes will line up with my red and then of course I have game over blinking which is kind of cool. Yeah. That glass looks really, really nice. That's really... Where did he where did he get that? That's freaking tremendous. One of his contacts had it at the Ohio pinball show and he sent Moorhead. Well Moorhead was out there anyway to get it, so Yeah. yeah. That looks like four hundred bucks to me. He paid two fifty. Nice. I think he stole it. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's really, really nice. Anyway, the um, Xenon probably make the match like you know, just a little trick. So I was watching uh, the Rocky Marathon. Which obviously included Rocky Three. Okay. You familiar with Rocky Rocky movies? Yeah, I watched part of the two. Okay. Well, you know, in Rocky Three, Paulie throws the 
throws the uh, throws his liquor bottle into the back glass of the makeshift Rocky pinball machine. I'll have to look at that. I never noticed. That. You got to look at that. And um, this is a challenge to the viewers. He walks into an arcade, and um, the, I guess the challenge is how many uh, arcade units can you identify in that scene. I can identify all of the pinball machines that are shown for more than like two seconds, but some of it are like real quick flash shots where you see down the pinball row and it just happens too fast. I don't have freeze frame Is on my TV. Is this in the beginning TV. of the movie? It's towards the beginning, maybe five, six minutes in. I have to look. Um, there's a there's a crazy climber in there, Star Castle, uh, uh, asteroids, um, a Paragon. Uh, Bally Playboy, uh, Space Invaders, um, yeah. I guess all this was right around that all, movie. Yeah, off the top of my off the top of my head. So the question there is, I guess somebody who has freeze frame, um, see what games you can identify that aren't so obvious in that. That's a pretty cool question. A whole arcade, huh? Yeah, he walks into the arcade and it must have been in Philly somewhere, right? Maybe. Because that's where that movie was entirely shot, wasn't it? Maybe. I don't know which one's Rocky Three. Rocky Three is the one uh, with uh, Clubber Lang, Mr. T. A pity to fool. Well, then it was mostly done in Philly, maybe. Huh? What's your prediction for the fight? The prediction for what fight? They ask him what's the prediction for the fight, and he oh, goes. Oh, do they? And he goes. They while well, they ask pity Clubber. The fool. Yeah, pity the fool. They, they they ask him, and he goes, pain. Pain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> remember that? Yeah, I, I do remember that. <laughs> That guy always said that, though, even when he was in the A-team. I pity the fool. Well, I, you know, we said I pity the fool in, in that movie, and it got me to think, and I wonder which was first, A-team or the Rocky movie. Because in the Rocky movie, in the opening credits, it says introducing Mr. T as Clubber Lang. So maybe that, pre, hmm. maybe that predates the A-team, and um, that, that may be one of his earliest, um, you know, things. It might. I don't know. I never watched a team series. I don't know what. And Apollo it. Creed, um, Carl Weathers is his name. Yeah, Carl. Weathers. He was a football player. Yeah, was he? Yeah. Really? You know, he's pushing seventy years old now. Wow. Yeah. But then again, so are you. Yeah. Fifty-eight is seventy. Yeah, it? might as well be. Oh. That's the end of Ray's movie reviews for for today. Uh, you know, you all weren't right. much of a Rocky fan. No, that's all right. You got to fix that Rocky. It fell on its face. Yeah. Piece Probably of shit. tower supply is my first instinct. Yeah. Brake shot fell on its face too. It's dead. That's I don't know what that can be. Strange science fell on its face. It's dead. Wow. So of the three pinball machines I have on the floor, three of them don't work. Oh. You know what else I got? Nothing. You got um, trident. I got trident and checkpoint <laughs> <laughs> and roller disco. <laughs> and roller disco. And Electra. Yeah, Electra. Well, we'll get a... And Waz. We got Waz, man. We got a oh, Waz yeah, LE. Don't forget the That's Waz. ours. We own that. I got to... Uh, Update the code, code, would you? Mm -hmm. That we'll way. We do that at work. We can download it. Yeah, we can. Well, all right. So how, wrap. so how do you end each segment? How do I end each segment? And it's off to you, Candace. There you go. <laughs> you, you learn fast. Yeah, right. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Want to know what's coming next? Go like us on Facebook right now. You can keep up to date with all of us here at the shop and what we've been up to. Thank you for watching.